Traders War Room wants to thank the viewer for the continued support on this journey. Please make sure you check out the description as there's information links on topics covered within this video. Thank you. What is up team? I'm Chuck with Traders War Room and I'm back at you with another video. Listen, the market closed yesterday, some up, some down, but overall we were pretty much agreeing on a lot of our positions, okay? Some of you that were struggling a little bit, listen, take this weekend as an opportunity to get into books and do a little studying and do a little digging. Really focus on your technical and fundamental aspects and really your entry and exit points, okay? The strategies that you need to be successful. Listen, we got a jam-packed video for you. I think you're gonna enjoy it and I need you to like, I need you to share, subscribe, Join the team, join the community. We do this together. So now, if you're ready, follow me, and let's go to war. Traders War Room wants to remind the viewer that all content on this channel is for entertainment and education purposes only. Everyone is responsible for their own decisions within the stock market. Thank you. Welcome back team. Listen, if you're new to the channel, thank you for joining the community and joining the journey. All right. Listen, Facebook 240 strong. Discord starting to pop off. Twitter starting to get some reaction. We're even starting to get some negative comments on our YouTube channel. Everything's moving in the right direction, meaning we're doing something right. Okay. To the point that I actually have to go out and get some new software so I can make better video quality and content for the YouTube channel. Always trying to refine our foxhole and trying to improve, right? So that we're better today than we were yesterday. Never thought we'd be in this position when we started this a month and a half ago, but yet here we are. So we obviously are doing something right together and we need to make sure that we continue to do the right things. So this is how it's gonna work. I got my podium, I got my paper. So I stay focused and on target and we're gonna start with the market after action review up next. All right, team, let's get at it with the aftermarket review, okay? The after action report, as I like to call it. We're gonna first start out with the watch list, the TWR watch list, how we did. We didn't do so bad. I'm gonna show the image and I'm gonna talk through it. Some are up, some are down, but with these small cap stocks, sometimes we can ride these ones that have momentum and that are trending, we can ride these up 20, 50, 100% and cash out unless we wanna stay in the long term. And some of these ones that got beat up and are down quite significantly. Mott's, for example, is down negative 16.67. Listen, these penny stocks, they're cheap, okay? So that could be just a fractions of cents that, and low volume that's pushing these things down, guys, okay? So we need to pay attention. If it's something we believe in and we have our indicators that are showing us it's a buy and a long hold, you know, if we got in high, we average down or we wait to get in until it goes lower and then we ride this thing to the sunset, okay? So we're also gonna talk about the social media stocks that didn't do so good. The hot stocks that didn't do so good either. And remember, these hot stocks are the institutional stocks. The big boys, okay, the PepsiCo, the Coca-Cola, the Johnson Johnson, these big boy institution ones. They didn't do so hot, all right? And we're also going to talk about some of the stocks I'm looking at for future. I'm going to do some DD on them. I put them in there because I'm interested in these stocks. The charts, some of them look good, some of them look bad, but I'm just going to look at your fundamentals and technicals and make a decision on whether I want to join in and I hope that you do some DD on these as well so that you can make a decision for yourself. So let's get into them. All right, here's the TWR small cap watch list that we pushed out over the week. A lot of them you see there's a lot of green, a lot of positive change in the percentage of the stock. Again, we're looking at this OBSV and the DTIL for next week, seeing if we can continue the trend upward and make some good cash. This is the continued part of it. Notice we do got some red ones. Mott's really took a dive and SRGA negative almost 5%, but those could also be potential runners and we just have to make sure we keep them on the radar and if we see an opportunity we pounce all right attack destroy and conquer the twr hot stocks remember this screener was pulling hot stocks from institutions and firms that were getting a lot of buzz you see some are green but a lot of the big boys they didn't do so hot okay it was a definitely a low day in the marketplace for a lot of these the social media stocks a lot of them did pretty good you know Reddit, Wall Street Beats, 
you know, Twitter, all these social media platforms with the retail investor, they're starting to come around and especially with these small stocks and these blockchain stocks, it's getting a lot of attention, making a lot of money. Social media stocks continued. Again, with any positive, you're always going to have some negative going on. Bitcoin was up, but then as you see, Ethereum was down. So Microsoft down, Tesla was down, CCIV took that big, huge dive. The SPACs is something that I'm really interested in because a lot of these SPACs that I'm looking for, they're giving a story of something for the future. And if the story lines up and the management firm of the SPAC is going and the merger comes to be, the stock can do very well as we see with the CCIV, an extreme good run and hopefully a merger next week. But with SPACs, we need to remember if the merger doesn't go through, these things drop to about 10 to 15 dollars automatically almost and not all the SPACs do well vgac was one of those 23 andme stocks that kathy woods was in and when she pulled her support you saw everyone else sell out of it as well so some of these influencers if they're in the stock will raise and then all of a sudden it's not doing good or price action is not good or some sort of merger news is not happening and these big institutions they pulling out and then a lot of people are going to sell and they can go down significantly these are stocks that i'm interested in i've heard about these through news channels or social media or something i read and brought my attention to it or something i researched and i looked to see if there was a stock that had to do with this particular topic and i found some and they just need to be researched and i need to do dd on them so i'm putting them out here so you can do your own as well and if some of them look interesting and there's indicators hey jump in and let's ride these to the sunset and also when I'm looking at these stocks, a lot of these, I got a big list, but I'm not going to research all of these stocks. I'm going to pick the ones that sound good and I can see a future. They have a story that's important to me. It's a story that I could see being something in the future. And if they don't have that, I'm going to take them out of this list. And I'm not even going to give them a second thought unless I start to see them trending or something like that. Next section, questions from the front line. We got one of the questions. I'm going to show it to you right now, and then we're going to answer it. Questions from the front line comes from Inor Medina. Listen, they're asking specifically about call options here and with contracts when it goes up. Is that when you sell or do you have to wait to be in the money or by the expiration date? So first of all, I want to say thank you for contacting me on Messenger asking a question. I highly recommend anyone that has questions to hit me up on Messenger and so I can utilize them on the channel. Obviously, I asked them if I could use it. They said yes. So thank you for allowing me to do this for education purposes and everything. So let's answer your question. So first of all, I want to say what a great, great question. Okay, options are picking up steam, especially with a lot of young traders that see potential. Okay, so, so no, you can sell an option at any time, right? And I'm going to show you one of my options after I get done speaking that's not at my break even point and, and it's not in the money so I can get my premium, but it's above my average cost and I'm making money right now. So I could sell it at any time I wanted to. Typically, you don't want to let your options expire unless you plan on possibly rolling them over and exercising them and keeping those shares. If you're in these call options to make money, then you, as soon as you see them pop or you got some good news that you know it's likely to go past and you're gonna be weighing the money and your premium is gonna start kicking in. But typically, unless I'm really sure on it or I'm taking a real big gamble, as soon as I pop in there and I see some green and it goes up significantly, I'm out. I'm gonna take my profit and you know, I rolled the dice on this one, it paid off and I'm gonna go with it. So I'm gonna show you right now one of my options that is technically in the green right now, but not at its break even point. So as promised, here's one of my options, right? GE, $13 call option, okay? Currently sitting at 79 cents. For this video, what I want you to really focus on is the current price and the average cost and then my total return. Current price is 79 cents. My average cost is 77 cents. So I'm green 2.60% or $10 positive. So come Monday, as long as this doesn't drop, the underlying stock, the actual stock doesn't have a significant drop or anything, I could cash out of this and take my $10 profit and run with it. 
So I don't have to wait for my break even price at 1377. But I have this all the way out until June 18, 2021. So I'm going to gamble with this a little bit and I'm banking on that the price is going to go up significantly by this time to that time. Now there's some other things with decaying and the stats and the Greeks, but that's for another more advanced section and options. This is just covering real basic play that I'm doing currently. Last but not least, Fire guard thoughts, okay? This is where we talk about thought-provoking content, make you think over the weekend, do some homework, do some research, and just really ponder things that relate to the stock market, okay? So, question that you've seen a lot, are we primed for a stock market crash, all right? Some people are saying, no, that's ridiculous, it's just a correction. Some people are saying we're looking at a dot-com type of bubble and that we're gonna have a melting phase where it's gonna come tumble, it's gonna shoot up very quickly and then come tumbling down even faster. Some other says that this is just normal, just fluctuations between you know 10 and 15 percent that we're going to see over the year. And so, really, we just have to kind of well, that's we don't know what the stock market's going to do, right? But we can make some choices to safely invest in certain things. Okay, the Motley Fools talk about you know some of the historical stocks that do fairly well during crashes or doing during you know, drops in the entire market. And they said healthcare industry does pretty good, like BMY, because people are still gonna get sick, they're still gonna need supplies, they're still need, gonna be healthcare, okay? That's not gonna change. And these places are still gonna, money's going to be prioritized to these places like this during a stock market crash because we need the resources, all right? Also, they said big boring stocks like AT&T that deal with communication are fairly safe because they're they're low they're boring was the term and you know people need to still communicate during these times so AT&T and other stocks like this they're usually safe bets another one basic needs and services like NEE that deals with you know electrical utility people are still going to need utilities during you know a crash and everything so a lot of these you know basic services are going to be prioritized and finally a lot of people are going to need they're going to have vices when they're going through crash, there it's depressing time and people are sad and you know a lot of people are going through some things and so one of the ones that is the staple one, whether you're a tobacco liker or not, but Philip Morris PM, all right, people are gonna smoke cigarettes and they're gonna drink alcohol. And we saw this during the corona pandemic, man. You know, alcohol and cigarettes skyrocketed during this thing. So during the crash, people are stressed out. When people get stressed out, they smoke and they drink and they have vices. And so these type of consumables are gonna are gonna be just fine and dandy. We can hop in these and let our money just work for us, okay? So think about those, add some comments on what you think and what'll be safe bets in your opinion during a, cra during a market crash and whether you think the market's headed for a crash or just a correction or just kind of doing its thing throughout the year. Let me know. All right, guys, that's it. Done. So look, I'm looking forward to Monday. I'm looking forward to hopping in. I really am paying attention to the CCIV. I got stock. I love my options. I sold my options, made a killing, you know, exercised some of them. So I got a quite hefty stance in CCIV. So I'm really hoping that this comes up, comes along. Also, I've been looking at these SPACs. I'm really into some of these SPACs, man. I got ideas for the future and I've been paying attention to them. So I don't know about you, but on red days in the market, I've been looking at, just like we say, because here at Traders War Room, we look at the, uh, the stock market as a war zone, right? Stocks and sectors, those are our battles. I've been going to war, attacking, destroying, and conquering this market. And we do it together. We do it as a team. And as always, if you're ready, follow me and let's go to war.